who remembers that movie Noah that came out years ago, years ago? And I remember when that movie came out, the Christians, we thought that movie was so like demonic. And we was like, oh, it's so inaccurate. This is terrible. And like the Christians hated it. Tell me why. I'm in the book of Jasher. And for any um, religious spirits, um, the Bible references Jasher. Okay. And anyway, um, so, and, and I'm reading the part about Noah. And they're talking about how the animals, like, came to the ark. And it's so interesting. It's kind of blowing my mind. I love God because I love that we get to learn new things. Like you can you can live a million years and you'll still be like learning. So I love that about following Yeshua. But anyway, um, so like how the animals came to the ark and the baby cubs were called whelps. And how he said like, okay, so... Um, the animals that came up and crouched before him uh, were the animals that were supposed to go in the ark. And he said a mother and her two, two they called them whelps, two whelps came. And, um, and so they both, all three of them crouch, but the, the whelps uh, kind of went to like attack the mom, not like attack, but you have to read it to see how they worded it. And um, it scared the mother lion off. So it was only two because it was only two of each kind of animal. And it's just blowing my mind. But I'm thinking about this movie, Noah. And if you rewatch it, when we know all that we know, we know about the Nephilim. We know about um, like the spiritual realm and the giants and the and and all the things that movie was more accurate than we thought. But because of our lack of understanding, and it wasn't the appointed time for us to know these things. The, the reason why we're learning all these things now, because it's the appointed time, because um, Yeshua is about to return. Like, this whole thing is about to reset. So, um, um, I just find it, I mean, I'll show you a clip of the, the movie real quick. So I'm not telling you to go watch the movie because I'm sure they're Hollywood's going to be Hollywood. And I'm sure there's some things that aren't accurate. I'm not, I'm not asking you to watch that movie for accuracy. I'm telling you that that movie was more truer than we were ready for. So whoever made that, which it which probably was Hollywood because, um, you know, when, when, when they, they're worshiping Satan and Satan is giving them this advanced knowledge. Um, but I, I can't say it was Satan either because it could have been... Um, I don't know who made this movie, but I just know that I asked God to forgive me because at that time I was like, this is crazy. And it's kind of like today, like the Christians today that haven't woken up yet that think like when we, when like Celestial and everybody talks about the Nephilim and as in the days of Noah and like the aliens are here, like, um, because of their teaching and their understanding, they're just not ready for it, but it's the point of time to be ready for it because God has given us the answers for what's going on and they're choosing not to hear what God is saying and it'll be to their detriment because if I hadn't watched those prophecies I wouldn't be where I was today I'm telling you because um like with the technology I would have thought like oh this is so cool um all these advancements I probably would have got one of those robots I kid you not because I didn't know I didn't know any better I would have thought they that it was okay because because it's not the mark, like I wouldn't have been able to reason why not. Um, and my own limited understanding because, um, but it was, it's the advanced information from the most high God that Yah has given us is to, is to why I'm succeeding in these last days anyway. So glory be to the most high God and thank you Celestia for, for her, your obedience. And, um, I'm just like, 
this is wild. Like it's blowing my mind. So read Jasher only if you've read only if you're if you've read if you caught up with your Bible. This is like um, the next part of it. Like, but make sure you start with the the Bible that you have in front of you first. Um, um, and make sure you've read that through and have a solid understanding. I mean, hey, you can read Jasher whenever you want. I don't, but I'm just saying, like, um, you know, I would say get a grasp of what you have already before you start going to the to the other books. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. I just think it's wild. Life is wild, y'all. Hey, it's your favorite girl in her blue bonnet. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I know it's so cheesy. Calm down. Guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching my content. Really, my goodness, there's so much going on. I just want to thank you so much for watching my content. I just want to do a couple of announcements. Um, as you guys know that we've started the second Exodus Hebrew community nonprofit organization. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, God has been good to us. And, uh, you know, we have a prayer call on Tuesday. The prayer call starts at um, uh, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, which makes it 7.30, um, 5.30, 6.30, uh, which makes it 7.30 on East Coast time. So you got to fill in the blanks. Don't forget to um, match up your time with Pacific Standard Time. I'm in L.A. Um, and then we also have a we're doing a uh, Sunday hangout where we're going to just kind of check in. It's mostly like really for fellowship. And um, if you were at the prayer call, you know how we stress the importance of community. Um, if you come to the meetings, I'll give you more details about how I believe God is leading me in that. Um, and then uh, don't forget about the Facebook page. Uh, the information uh, to all these things and more are in my link tree. My link tree can be found in the description of this video. Um, and it also, if you go to my TikTok, it's at the top of my um, TikTok, the link tree, okay? Um, don't forget about my TikTok shop. Um, I have a lot of emergency, um, like generators and walkie-talkies. I also uh, have some modest apparel in my TikTok shop, so be sure to check out my TikTok shop. Um, and then also, um, as I always tell you, you know, I don't get, I'm not monetized because the content that I put out, they won't monetize me. Um, and so all the content that I do, I don't get paid for it. So, um, I'm always open and, um, um, appreciative of your, uh, donations, uh, via cash app or Venmo. I also have added PayPal as well. Cause some people asked about PayPal. So if the spirit leads you, um, uh, to donate in any way, um, may God bless you a hundredfold. And I really do appreciate that. I sincerely thank everybody for watching my content and I hope that you are having an amazing day. All right, guys, I am super excited to announce that I have started uh, consulting. Um, this is my website, The Chef's Agent. T-H-E-C-H-E-F-S-A-G-E-N-T. -E -E and of course that's .com. Um, once you get to the website, you're gonna click in the right hand corner, you're gonna get to this list and go under consulting. Uh, you can read my little note, my little description if you want to, but basically um, what I'm doing is I have free consultant. If you want a free consultant for 15 minutes, we can kind of discuss your needs. I do business consulting. I own a private business. Um, I've also uh, guided and helped people start their business. Um, we are living in our last days. I, I believe that God wants us to come out of these systems because these systems are eventually going to turn into what the beast system has to offer. And I believe that God wants us to start our own businesses. So I am an avid believer of us Hebrews, uh, black people, black Americans, people of Hebrew descent, Indians, uh, Latinos, um, starting their own businesses and coming out of those systems. So um, I'd love to offer my services uh, for consulting. So the free consulting is just, you know, if you have any questions and you want to know, okay, this is my situation, and then I'll direct you to kind of 
like if you need business consulting or if you need life coaching, um, I'll direct you that path. Um, I also, if you have questions about Jesus, about Yeshua, about you being a Hebrew, um, about anything that has to do with Jesus, God, and your soul salvation, uh, those consultations are free. I will not charge anybody to talk to you about Jesus and um, getting your getting a line on this narrow path. Um, so that is a free consultation, but you have to sign up for the 15 minute consultation first so that I can identify what category you fall in. Um, also, this is just my regular website. I am a private chef. Um, if anybody does want, you know, to book a chef, the holidays are coming up. Uh, we pretty much staff all of the United States and I'll show you how we do that if you give us a call. But yeah, basically that's how you want to do it. Just go make an appointment and I can't wait to hear from you. All right, y'all.